Welcome to a top 5 for the best bonus packages in the game currently. Now they do add new bonus packages every month so this video might be out of date when you're watching it but it should be relevant for a little while because it is only one new one a month. So let's get into it. A very quick rundown if you're not familiar with what a bonus package is. So if you spend either $10 or any amount above that on AQ you'll get one bonus package. Now you can spend $10 10 times in separate transactions and get 10 packages you can spend $100 once and get one package it's just one per transaction basically and with that you can select one and you'll be awarded a badge in game that badge will have items in it uh, that can be anything from a class to a house to house items to bank pets to bank uh, other bank items house items that have bank stuff yeah there's a lot of different things that these packages can include in them and I thought I would make a video going through some of my favorite picks of these so you guys have an idea of what to get because maybe you don't spend a bunch of money and you don't have all of these unlocked like some people might so i have quite a few of them unlocked but uh, not a lot so let's get into it i need to be saying this more so like the video subscribe to the channel all right so the first one now this list is in no order these are just five packages that i like uh there's not an order to it but i do think this one is the best i should probably be putting it last in the video so people will watch it longer but anyway doesn't matter infinity titan by far the best badge you can get out of all of them in my opinion if you're only picking one and one only this should be the one you get now you could pick the next one on the list maybe over this one but i think this is better so with the infinity titan badge you get a bunch of different weapons the most important thing you get is the infinity titan class which is functionally stone crusher without having to get three rank 10 reputations so it would save you time uh, in the past, it also synergized with Stone Crusher itself uh, because it had technically different class skills. Someone told me they changed that. I have not verified that myself. We need another person to verify that with. Maybe I should do it on stream next time. But uh, it might have been changed so you can't uh, use it with Stone Crusher. They don't count as two different classes anymore. But someone in the comments did say that. Uh, so yeah, take that for what it will be. But it's basically like a free Stone Crusher you get when you like buy ACs with the game. Which is really cool on top of that it has a bunch of other items uh it's of course marvel themed some of them are pretty cool like some big fists you got like a captain america shield it looks kind of odd infinity gauntlet they're just holding for some reason yeah there's there's some there's some neat stuff in here uh the hairstyles are all right as well for female characters pretty cool color custom hair so yeah there's some neat stuff in the shop but uh, there's one other cool thing that comes with this, which is a house. You might not think a house is that uh, like a good of a extra thing because, you know, it's just a house. But I think houses are pretty cool because it saves you a trip from running through Yolgar uh, a lot of times. Well, this one comes with a house item as well on the pet. It's pretty cool. Uh, so if you go here, it has a bank house item, which is, you know, as it says, you place it in your house. You click on it. It'll open your bank. Not very useful these days, but used to be more of a perk back in the day. Back in the day, like a year or two ago. Uh, it comes with the base, which I'm standing in right now. Uh, the gauntlet, which is in the house right there, you can see. And the battle pet, which I'm pretty sure you need to be a member for that. You do not. Wow, okay. <laughs> so, a non-member battle pet. Hmm. Well, that's, that's a rarity. So, you get a non-member battle pet with the badge that's pretty neat anyway so quick tour of the house is actually really neat so some houses like this in the past have been like 2k ac or 1k ac or around that so pretty expensive actually you got a customization room in here for armor and character which is neat buttons are kind of small and good so yeah nice one it's a little laggy in this customization room it's probably the laggiest customization room i've ever seen in a house which might be a downside to you it is for me for sure one of the reasons why i don't use the house but it's there nonetheless. Uh, you have a few rooms that are different, like uh, realms. Like you go in, pretty neat. It's a nostalgic one right there. Get that kind of vibe from it. You got like an ice one, fire, earth, and another element. I don't know what's, is this like a light? Yeah, cool. So it's a pretty good looking house. Not all the rooms are laggy like the customization one and uh, definitely worth picking up. So on to the next one. Not that the list is in any order, but number four. All right, so this would be the probably second best one on the list. So if it wasn't actual list, it'd be a number two. But Abyssal 
or Fire Lord Summoner, reading the list there, has the duplicate of the Blaze Binder class. Now there is no synergy with Blaze Binder with this one, or at least it wasn't in the past. I don't know if the Stone Crusher one changed or whatever, but this is just Blaze Binder, which is a multi-target class, can have the three targets at once. Really decent farming class, not crazy crazy. If you have Vampire Lord, you probably don't even need to think about this at all. Uh, but it might be a good alternative to Vampire Lord if you don't have that. It's not seasonal uh, in season at the moment. Or you're just looking to change it up a little bit. So a bunch of different armors in here. The cosmetic parts of this, not really the biggest fans. Some of these are all right looking. Um, but all in all, not the biggest fan. These little like flame things are cool, but they're not color custom. So you only get blue and red or orange variants of them which you know could be all right they, they do they do look fine but not the best nothing really stands out for the weapons for me helmets are the same the the glowy stuff on the faces i actually quite like the the style and design of them quite a bit but at the same time they're not not my favorite helmets in the game so yeah not crazy good in the cosmetic department in my opinion I think if this stuff was color custom, it would be a little bit more useful. And the animated stuff is kind of cool, but yeah, like I said, there is with the Blaze Binder class in this, you also do get another house, uh, kind of similar to this one. So with the item here, this will give you a house. So you get this item, click on it, do the quest, it'll give you a house. Unlike the current house I'm standing in, this quest does not have any extra house items or anything like that, so it's just the Flame Master house. Here's a quick tour of the house, if you haven't seen it already. So you got kind of like a dragon with the eyes, the lava, kind of got a cool look to it. Just a plain old room here, room with a teleporter up. So this will bring you into the customization room, which has armor and character, which is nice, not just armor. In the past, it would just have armor customization for some reason in these rooms. So I'm glad they changed that. Now this one would look more laggier than the other one, but it's actually not. As you can see, my character running around. Not a laggy room, so I say this one's probably more usable than the last one for the Infinity Titan house. If you're looking for a house with a customization room in it. And then you got another few rooms over here to the right that look pretty similar. You got kind of an outdoorsy one. So all in all, I I don't think this is a bad house at all. I would definitely, this is definitely a usable house. It looks all right. Maybe a little bit too much orange and fire going on <laughs> for my liking, but definitely not the worst house you could get. All right, number three on the list. No particular order. I'll remind you that. So this one does not come with a class. Uh, there's only two that do come with classes out of all the packages that exist. I, I just showed them to you. But this one and this one doesn't even have a house either. So yeah, another downside, but anyway, I still put this on here because I think the cosmetics that are included with this are very nice, along with the fact that it does have a bank pet item. Bank pets in the game are normally 2000 ACs or given out through these packages. This is the package one. Actually, they're not given out through packages a lot and you got kind of a scuff switch. There's two different switch variants. This one's definitely um, my least favorite, but it is color custom, so that's that's a cool one. You got like the TMNT uh, dagger things there. Yeah, cool, cool items. The armors here have color custom variants to them as well. So really nice, really, really nice gear. In my opinion, some nice like streetwear. Got hats and bandanas, and hairstyles. A lot of it is color custom as well. So you got a really cool group of items in here, in my opinion. Now, one of the cool things here is this backpack. This backpack has a bank on it. So uh, in the game right now, you can you actually open the bank by hitting the B hotkey on your keyboard. The only reason you would need a bank pet is to open that. So if you don't have a bank pet, you can't hit B on your keyboard to open your bank like that. You actually have to uh, slash join the bank, which, you know, could take you could take you an extra little. It's just more convenient rather than anything. You just be able to hit B to open up your bank. So I think that's a really good one if you don't have a bank pet and you want like the cool streetwear gear, check it out. Here's a look at what these color custom looks like on the gear set as you can see. So you got like the weapon hilt there and a few other things will change color. So that way this one doesn't do anything and neither does the top. So you only get the trim color for this, but it's better than nothing. 
in my opinion. So yeah, pretty nice color custom there. Just a little add-on. All right, number three. This one is Galactic General, another color custom cosmic outfit, this time with a house. So you get the armor, which includes a General Grievous outfit. Female version of this, not the best. Male version, a little better in my opinion. So I'll put on the whole General Grievous uh, fit here. I think it's really cool. It's color customizable as well. So you can get that and be a Star Wars character if that is your thing. So yeah, there's quite a few different uh, items you can have on the outfit along with some really cool hairstyles if you play a female or male character. I think the uh, the beard and hairstyle actually looks good there on the male one and the female one looks good as well. Uh, my only issue with the female monk one here is the makeup on the face does have a color customizability to it so if you have like say like a blue or a purple or something on your outfit it also changes the color of the makeup which can look a little weird for your character as you see here this looks sick i'm a big fan of general grievous probably one of my favorite star wars characters they've had in the past so having a color customizable version of them in the game is pretty neat in my opinion so you see your eye color stays your eye color and you can change it to whatever color you want Pretty cool outfit there, if you if you ask me. Here's what the CC looks like for some of the other items. You have actually a, a cape behind you that is color customizable. So you can change that up. The white changes the blade a little bit, which is really neat, as well as the cape there you can see. So pretty neat color customizability on this, in my opinion. Looking pretty nice, actually. Uh, the trim color changes as well. So you can change that if you'd like. And so does the base so you can change all that around and you can see the makeup being affected by the trim color there so yeah you can change that all around and have a pretty color customizable outfit the chrysalis space station house comes with a set it comes off of one of the capes if you're looking for where you would get the house out of the package but uh, yeah you roll up in your rolls royce space uh vehicle onto your space station and you, you run quite a while it's longer than out this is a very nitpick it's longer than i would like to run for a custom station room it takes longer than uh, slash joining yolgar so there is that although it isn't laggy and it's got like a cool like space floor in it so it's, it's pretty cool looking uh armor customization room and it does exist in the house which some houses don't have so good to see there and nice space station house included with the package all right, at this point, I had a hard time finding a fifth one to put into the video. I just, I guess I'm not really a huge fan of a lot of the packages that they've added to the game. You can see by the ones I have purchased, I don't have a lot of them purchased. Uh, but anyway, this one, I have two more, but they're not for like massive reasons. There's two more in this video. I know it's the top five, but I include two more because they're kind of like small reasons why you'd want one or the other package. This one uh, doesn't have a house or a bank pet. Or anything like that it does have a battle pet uh, although they are member but the weapons in this uh in this set are probably what i think would be pretty underrated i don't see these used a lot i think when cosmetic slots hit the game if or when i run out of copium and that happens i think these might get used more i think they look really good i think the uh, hilts are really nice the blades are good thickness on them I just think they're uh, very, very nice looking swords. So you have these and the light versions of them, both really nice. So I think these swords are slept on, kind of a little underrated, and they do exist in this package, so you might not see them that often. I know I don't think I've ever seen anyone with these equipped, and I think they should be equipped more often. So that's why I'm including this in here at uh, number five, or number one, depending on which direction this list is. This would be number five if it was a, a correct list. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's a few armors in here as well. Uh, I don't think they're the best. It looks like it was supposed to be a male version and they put like a black uh, top on there. Yeah, just like kind of a workaround. Anyway, that's yeah. And then you got these. I actually show the male versions of these because yeah, you can see topless male. The female has an ugly top on, you know, equality in our outfits in this game. Uh, a few different helmets here. Nothing too crazy in my opinion, uh, but hey, if you like heavy armor, pretty cool. The capes in this aren't bad. Uh, I actually do enjoy these capes. They aren't laggy either for being large capes, so that is a big plus side. 
but one thing about this the the light side one looks kind of evil to me like you know you got like kind of the shadow scythe and then you got the light the bright one even that one looks a little evil and it might be a downside if you're going for like a light set but uh, i think it looks good nonetheless all right last one for this video number zero i think we're on and we're gonna get in the negatives if i keep going but uh, this one I'm including for one reason, one reason only, the color custom hair. That's the only reason I bought the package. I think that if you like, I think it's one of the better hairs in the game, like period, out of every hair that exists. Uh, and yeah, it's color custom as well. So very cool. There it is. Actually, my armor is messing with it. So yeah, there are a few armors in here and you might like them. They're color custom as well. Uh, so it might be your taste it's not really my taste that much there's also big laggy capes in here as well very laggy capes i might add oh my god uh i want to yeah that's cannot we not have okay that's way better so they are cool looking capes i will give you that the flames are nice as well color custom a little laggy looking but it's not that bad of an outfit uh but uh, the one thing i just really like about it not trim accessory i think it would be is the color customizability of it that's oh the red okay that's actually that looks cool i've never actually seen that with the white there yeah pretty neat so the hair is color customizable but it changes with your hair color which i'm not a huge fan of uh and it only changes like the highlights of the hair there so you, you, if your character doesn't have black hair you're not really gonna like it but in my opinion it's one of the better hairstyles in the game and it does have a color customizable aspect to it so looks really cool and i i was actually surprised after equipping the color customizable stuff in the uh stat this actually looks pretty good then you change the tattoo color and all that it's actually it's a pretty neat outfit so yeah check this check that one out as well I'll go through and give you a better look at the shop uh yeah so you got like the male hairstyle as well a few different horns you got the ones that aren't color custom in there already showed those a bunch of different weapons reverse daggers stuff like that you got books staffs yeah so quite a few different things in here a few different pets nothing too crazy a non-member battle pet wow it seems like uh, quite a few packs have non-member battle pets yeah, pretty neat so yeah that's the last pack for the video and uh, that's the end of the video as well so leave a like on the video if you like it subscribe to the channel if you're not already i'll see you guys all the next one if you have a favorite pack that i did not include in this video something that you're sleeping on even if it's a single item in a package that you think looks really cool let me know in the comments down below and uh like i said at the start of the video in the future this will change maybe i'll have to make an updated one like a year or two from now uh when they add more packages to the game because in my opinion there it was kind of there was kind of some weaker stuff in this so in the future i'm sure the video of top five will be much stronger there'll be some stronger picks so yeah see you in the next one subscribe to the channel bye, -bye.